hydrostatic pressure force on a hinge gate. In this video, we are going to look at what is a hinge gate and what is it used for, how to calculate the hydrostatic pressure force acting on a hinged gate, and what is the torque acting on the hinge. So what is a hinge gate? We are looking at a situation where we have a water reservoir with the water at rest on one side, and on the other side, an empty conduit closed by a hinge gate with the hinge located on the top of the gate. And we would like to know what is the force acting on the gate and what is the moment about the hinge. What is a hinge gate used for? It could be used in urban water supply, a dam and reservoir, in sewers, a tidal gate, with an example here of an hinged gate acting as a tidal gate to prevent high tidal water to enter into a farming polder. How to calculate the hydrostatic pressure force acting on a hinged gate? Let us look first at the simple case whereby the water depth in the reservoir equals the height of the conduit. And we will use the notation small d for the water depth in the reservoir and big D for the internal height of the conduit. A key feature is the presence of the water surface in the reservoir, where the pressure is atmospheric at the surface, that is the pressure big P relative to the atmospheric pressure equals zero. In the reservoir itself, we have a hydrostatic pressure gradient. On the variation of pressure with the vertical elevation equal minus rho g, where z, the vertical elevation is positive upward, rho is the water density, and g is the gravity acceleration. In turn, the pressure distribution is a linear distribution presenting a triangular shape with P equals zero at the water surface and the pressure at the bottom of the reservoir is rho g d, small d of the depth of the reservoir. In turn, the force acting on the gate can be derived by summing all the small contribution of the pressure force on small area of the gate. Mathematically, the pressure force is the integration of the pressure over the area, big A, of the conduit. And we will assume here that we are dealing with a rectangular conduit gate of breadth, capital B. By integrating this hydrostatic pressure distribution, which is a triangular distribution, we obtain the hydrostatic pressure force equal half of rho G d squared times B. We can then calculate the moment about the axis or torque acting on the hinge. The torque is equal to the hydrostatic pressure force times the distance from the hinge to the centroid of the pressure distribution. And for a triangular distribution, as here, the centroid of the pressure distribution is at two thirds of the height of the gate. Thus, the moment about the axis it will be half of rho g d squared times b times two thirds of the height of the gate. Now, let's come back now to a more general case whereby the water depth in the reservoir is higher than the internal height of the conduit. As before, the pressure is atmospheric at the water surface of the reservoir, and the pressure at the bottom of the reservoir is rho g d, with small d for the water depth. But now, on the gate itself, the pressure distribution is no longer triangular, but trapezoidal, as sketched at the bottom. On this trapezoidal pressure distribution, can be looked or can be considered as a superposition of a rectangular pressure distribution dashed in red plus a triangular pressure distribution seen in white here. Thus, in turn, 
the pressure force acting on the gate will be equal to the sum of the pressure force corresponding to the triangular distribution, half of rho g d square b, plus the pressure force contribution of the red dash rectangular area, rho g d minus big D times big D times B. Looking now at the torque acting on the hinge or moment about the axis, it will still be equal to the force times the distance to the centroid. But now we can write the moment as the contribution of the force acting in the triangular distribution plus the contribution of the force in the red rectangular area. The distance to the centroid for the triangular distribution is two thirds of D, but the distance to the centroid for the rectangular distribution is half of D, and we obtain a moment, half of rho G D squared times B times two thirds of big D, plus rho G D minus big D times big D times B, times half of big D. In summary, the hydrostatic pressure force on a hinged gate in a rectangular conduit, initially empty, can be derived analytically, as well as the moment about the axis. And both derivations are basic application of fluid statics. With an example of a hinged gate shown here, relevant bibliography include a number of textbooks, a number of relevant YouTube video movies in this channel. Thank you for listening.